I'm here at the outside of the uh, beautiful Hollywood Cemetery here in Richmond, Virginia. This is a very historical cemetery where two of our presidents are buried and the president of the Confederacy, Jefferson Davis, is also buried, as well as many other notable people. But we're gonna go find these these grave sites and um, I know it's gonna, it's gonna be big, you know, so a lot of these cemeteries are bigger than you realize when you get there. It's like, oh wow, it takes forever to find people. I, mean, I know I've mentioned it before, but these cast iron fences were something. I mean, they all just have their own design. One in Christ. Wow. Thanks to Bob down there, who was one of the tour guides for uh, for Hollywood Cemetery. I totally forgot that Dave Brocky, better known as uh, Odorous Urungus. Uh, Odorous, uh, odorous you, I, I called him. <laughs> the name was always, but uh, I got to see Guar. I was fortunate enough to see Guar in 2010 at Bonnaroo Festival, and they put on a good show. That you know, it's strange. They've been Guar has been making music since the 80s, but uh, a lot of the original members are no longer with the band. But they're definitely they're like uh, horror metal, I guess you you'd call them. Uh, uh, they put on theatrics, they all wear monster masks, and there's different characters. Uh, I did a painting of Odorous, um, um, and I sold on eBay a few years ago. I think I made like 60 bucks. But Dave Brocky, Brocky sadly passed away of an overdose in 2014. And here is his stone. Now they gave him a Viking send-off, a Viking, you can tell he's well loved, people putting little mementos on his grave. There's a lighter, some little trinkets, and we have a lot of lighters. I don't really have anything to leave, sadly. Uh, I'll look. But there's his face right there. Um, I hate they don't have, they wanted to do a big statue of him and the, the cemetery society wouldn't let them. They were gonna do this big, odorous statue. I always pronounce his, his uh, stage name Odorous Urungus. I assume, oh, he always had the swords on the side on his costume. I just hate they don't have his, the face, his mask. Uh, that's the only thing, his mask was so iconic. But he was only, he was 50 years old. He didn't, um, he was born in 63. Now, yeah, but he, they gave him like a, this Viking funeral. It was pretty crazy. Uh, no, he he went to he was from Richmond. Uh, to, well, I know he I know he studied at Virginia Commonwealth, which is in Richmond. And uh, but this is uh, yeah, so cool, so cool. Well, but his body is not here. David Murray Brocky. Life is painful, life is long, life's too short. It's like a song. No, they, they were on, a, um, one time I think they were on a Jerry uh, Springer. The band, it was about like Marilyn Manson and bands, like the parents that were against their children listening. And it was back in the 90s, but it was real fun. He was funny, He because he was playing a character. It wasn't like, he wasn't like Marilyn Manson where he truly believed in what he was saying. He was, it was sort of, I call it a comedy horror metal, I guess. But it wasn't as deep. He wasn't like deep into it the way like Manson or maybe Trent Reznor is, you know, where they're into the, they're truly into the dark side. Um, but, but anyway, um, so cool to so cool to see this. I'm glad that uh, Bob down there. I, I had forgotten that that uh, they did this for him. It's all real cute and fun, but why do you have to portray such a negative influence for the youth, for my kids? I don't, you know, of, in the world. Oh, you should be. But I'm sorry, too, honey. It's only because I'm 
because we're out there fighting all the evil demons and fighting all the, uh, the, the injustices that we see in society.